Oh, no. Oh, what's happened here? Well, what's happened? Conlon, I thought by the time he was going to go down. Now a huge body shot's coming in again, and this time he does go down. Here comes the big body attack again. Conlon's in trouble, in big trouble. The referee will watch. Once more, the body shot. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Our referee is charged. Third man in the ring will be Steve Gray. Introducing to you first the challenger fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black, trimmed with gold, and weighed in at eight stone, three pounds. Hailing from right here, Belfast, Northern Ireland, he is undefeated with 19 wins, 11 called by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current Commonwealth and WBC Silver International Super Flyweight Champion, Jamie the Mexican Conlon! And his opponent across the ring, he is the defending champion, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing red with white, and weighed in the same as his opponent, eight stone, three pounds. Coming to us from Cowit, Cavite City, Philippines, he brings a professional record consisting of 27 wins, just one defeat, one draw, with 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning and defending IBF Super Flyweight Champion of the World, Sherwin Pretty Boy on Cajas. Okay, boys, I'm a cold break. Take one step back. Don't throw punches to the back of the head. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, boys. Our second world title fight of the evening. The first one, the WBO World Bantamweight title, ended in 11 seconds. Yes, 11 seconds. Zelani Tete knocking out his South African fellow countryman, Sibani Sagonia. What will happen this time? Ankahas from the Philippines, a big favourite. But Jamie Conlon, what an opportunity. Kind of a boxing cliche, but if he pulls this off, it is a life changer. He needs the performance of his career and the performance of his life here. John does Jamie Conlon, but he has got the grit and determination. He's been here before and he's come through it, but he's got to put in the performance tonight. He's got a marginal height and reach advantage, Conlon. He's having to cope with Ankahas, who just don't get into a toe-to-toe -to -toe brawl. Nice little chopping right hand there from Conlon. Oh, no. Oh, what's happened here? Well, what's happened here? He's gone down for something. I honestly couldn't see what happened there. No, nor me, John. When he gets back into the corner, exactly what the problem is, because he'll tell Danny Vaughan straight off. So I'll shut up the moment that bell goes, and let's see if we can make sense of it. The outside. Well, here's where it happened, Richie. It's very, very difficult to see. I mean, whether you, I don't think it's a punch. Is it? He, he gets clipped there just to the side, but... Well, that's very strange indeed. Who thought it was the, the leg? I think he's got... It might be his right... Act. Well, that was mystifying. But we go now into the second round. 
I think Anke Haas was probably winning the round anyway, wasn't he? Just about, just, and just, with the yeah, involuntary going down. It. So I guess that would be scored 10 8. I think so, John. He probably just nicked the round and then with the count as well, then probably a 10 8, which is really unfortunate for. And it was always a question mark about whether or not he'd have the power to keep Anka Haas at bay. Clash of He's waiting there, he's waiting for his opponent to come forward. That's why he just occasionally you see him just faint with that jab. But Anka Haas now is on that front foot, beating Conlon to the punches. But Conlon, I can see what he's trying to do there. He's just fainting with that jab and trying to trigger the attack off from Anka Haas. And the cacophony which was greeting Anka Haas in the first round has been somewhat deadened now. Conlon has been down back end of that first round and is now cut and it looks as though quite badly cut. Jamie Conlon. Ankaas is so cool and methodical in the way he goes about his work. Belfast's faithful Conlon's fans trying to raise the man. But it's another clear round for the Filipino. Yeah the crowd John think they can sense that their man needs a little bit of help here. Danny Vaughan saying you've got to weather the storm. It was a clash of heads, we think, there that caused the damage to the eye. There's the punch to the back of the head. But that, that didn't cause the cut, that punch to the back of the head. I think it was definitely a head clash. There's blood spattered across our notes here at ringside. It's blood from the eye of Jamie Conlon. Gray. Well, Conlon has had some remarkable comebacks in the past when he's seemingly been on the cusp of defeat. Oh, massive body shot again. Conlon, I thought by the time he was going to go down. Now a huge body shot's coming in again, and this time he does go down. First shot was a good shot, wasn't it, for Conlon? He's a brave kid, though, John. He's on his feet. He's back up and down for the second time in the fight. Closing seconds of another huge round for the Filipino. More massive body chomps coming in. Is he going to go down again? No, he doesn't. Somehow manages to stay up. He's turned away with that one shot, didn't he? he hurt him to the body. There he is. It's just a straight left hand. But Conlon then he recovers. But then that's the green light then, isn't it, for Ancas just to target that body. And he just couldn't take that shot there. But that's the straight left, solar plexus. And then tried, here. Tried a bit of kidology, didn't he? And yeah. say it didn't hurt me, but of course, Ankas knew otherwise. So that's Big twice shots. down now. Yeah. Fourth round, IBF Super Flyweight Championship of the World. Jamie Conlon already has been down twice. Is Ankaz going to go for the finish in this round? Will he probably target the body again, won't he, Ankaz? Inevitably. Conlon's just got to stay tight here now, stay at distance. Trying to protect that damaged eye, keeping the gloves up, and that's creating the opening which Ankaz is exploiting to the body. Yeah, maybe so, John, but what he can't afford to do is, is, is go forward and, and, and overreach. Leave himself open. Now a big left hook. Here comes the big body attack again. Conlon's in trouble, in big trouble. The referee will want to see punches to come back. Somehow he's digging in there. Once more the body shot. Conlon pulses the floor in frustration. Down for a second time. Is he going to get up this time? It's at eight, is it? Him very well, the Filipino. Good shots there, keeps Conlon on the ropes. Just keeps the attack going. Conlon just trying to come back with that left hook there, wasn't he? And again, but Anka has sustained pressure, sustained attack. Three knockdowns now. Ooh. Conlon furious that he... Move into the fifth. 
and Kahas way ahead on the cards. How brave is Jamie Conlon, though, John? Well, tough kid, brave, brave kid. It's hard to it's hard to think of somebody currently around who's got more fighting heart than Conlon. Right hand, isn't it, from Anka Haas. I think it, it, I was oh, oh no, the no big body shots. Now is that low again? No, he's saying no knockdown. No knockdown, he's saying no. What's he gonna do? He'll take a point here, won't he? Jamie Conlon. And down the way, almost went down again. <laughs> Torrid round again for Conlon. This is why. That's that low shot, just, just below that belt area, belt line rather. Conlon really feeling it, really up against it. If Ankhaus won that round, that would be scored 9-9. Without the point deduction, that is. Sixth round, it's a 12th round, of course, the championship distance. And down he goes again, right hand this time. Conlon thinks it was around the back of the head, but it was more on the side of the head. Looking a little bit bemused, and he stopped it. It's all over, a brave effort ends there. A one-sided fight. Conlon, well, yeah, a step too far. Let's have a look. This is coming. This is the end now. So it's on the side of the head that that right hook. I think the referee had probably seen enough. Though it's right. I mean, it's at the back of the head. If anything, side to the back. Let's have a look here, John. This. I mean, that is. It's at the back of the head. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. 52 seconds of round number six. Our referee in charge, Steve Gray, stops the contest as the blue corner was in no condition to continue. Therefore, your winner, and still IBF Super Flyweight Champion of the World, Jerwin Pretty Boy Ankahas. A guy that good, over John, five times from illegal shots, from legal shots, head shots, body shots, just about every kind of shot, Josh, seemed to be cracking in. Yeah, I mean, uh, he had the look of Manny Pacquiao, in, in my opinion. Um, he did the same kind of tempo, Can you shed any light on that moment, Josh? I, I think it was a body shot, to be honest with you. I um, thought it was a delay reaction. Yeah, yeah, I, thought it was I, an I, I thought it was a body shot right up to the solar plexus, and it was like real delayed reaction. But as Steve says, they were coming from him from up, down, sideways, all round. And cut, and cut. Well, that's, what, that's why I refer him uh, similar to Manny Pacquiao, because that's what Pacquiao does. You know, he tees up that, uh, that southpaw right hand and then he brings everything off that. And uh, they were coming from different angles and Conlon didn't know where to defend him at times. And, and there was a, he did actually try and box John. You saw what Conlon was trying to do. Trying to make him miss, trying to counter. But how do you counter a whirlwind like that? His feet were travelling at Manny Pacquiao's speed and he had accuracy.